right. Absolutely nothing. The family is here, and he was stopped and profiled. So please speak back. We're going to ask our another sister, Sala, to come up and speak on what she feels about this injustice. It's time for this inequality to stop. This is the end of your journey. You are on trial. You are now being held accountable, accountable for the evil and the deceit of the indigenous African American boys and Hebrew boys, known as the indigenous people of ancient day. April the 18th, a young man, Geneva on mission, was coming home with his mother and father, coming home from prayer. April the 18th, two police officers, Daily City, pulled this family over. First question they asked, are you on probation? Are you on parole? They didn't tell the family why they was pulling them over. They didn't tell them that they so-called was running 40 miles an hour and, they, and the speed limit was 35. No, the question was, were you on probation? Were you on parole? The father, over 50 years old, driving. Clear and clean, insurance, registration, license. Never been to jail, never been on probation. Then went to the, to, to the mother, sitting in the seat. What is your name? Give me your license. She wasn't even driving. She said, my name is Yolanda Banks Reed. They looked in the files and saw she was clear and clean. Then they proceeded to go to the back, her 13-year-old daughter, and said, where have you been and where are you going? She said, the mother said, my child is a minor. What have we done, officers? Then they proceeded to ask the daughter-in-law for her license, and she gave it clear and clean. Then they proceeded to want her son, 24, 21 years of age, Charlene Tindall, Asked him his name. He had encounters in the past, beaten by police officers of San Francisco. He was afraid. They asked him to get out of the car. The mother said his name is Charlene Tindall. He has done no wrong. They saw that this young man had been in trouble in the past. Minor mistakes. They proceeded to investigate and said, we got to put the handcuffs on you. This young man was in the back seat of his car, coming home from church. He was with his two-year-old son and his, and his wife. Why was he proceeded? They said that you were driving 40 miles. They didn't even tell him. The mother said, well, please, give us a ticket. Hmm. They didn't give him a ticket. They took that young man out the car, and they proceeded to handcuff him. He said, wait a minute, what did I do? What did I do? They forced him, they put him on the car, said, get on the car. Then the next thing you knew, they threw this man, get on the ground. He said, what did I do? What did I do? Then they beat that boy. They beat that boy. They dragged that boy. They stomped that boy. They beat that boy. Then they proceeded with handcuffs to throw that young man on the ground and stomp him. And then they tased that woman's child. They tased that boy. Because they wasn't satisfied after they had retained them and restrained them to the ground, they taken out their taser and further to tase him with all of that electricity running through his body, cruel and wrong and beastly nature. Now I'm not here because of all officers, but I'm here for those officers that continue to take the life of our children. That's right. They continue to do the same thing day by day. You hear it on the news. And some of you, you turn a blind eye and you don't do anything about it. But I say today, why don't you do something about it? 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 Yes. 
principle only. Yes. We are people of shalom. Yes, we are. We want liberty and we want justice. Yes, yes we do. We continue day after day hearing on the news that our children are being murdered. Yes, they are. That's right. are being taken. Yes. And you have those that have their jobs, their cars, their vine trees, their olive branch. They sit up under it. And they won't lift a finger to help our children. No. And you have some of our own that won't lift a finger. No. They turn a blind eye. Yes, they do. Because they have education. Yes. But education is failing too. That's right. Everything have a course. Yes, and the only does. thing that will stand is liberty, justice, righteousness, and truth. Yes. That's the only thing that the will continue thing. to yes. stand. Yes. And it's going to stand without violence. Yes. On our behalf. That's right. Let's do it.